a divine greetings to the 13 tribes of Israel scattered in the four corners of the earth and to the Gentiles called by the oxen fairy name of Abba Yahuwah Elohim. This is the oxen fairy name that is above all names. Eternal. Yes, like I always love to say. Not Pog Jesus. No snake Allah is Yahuwah. Not Pog Jesus. No snake Allah is Yahuwah. The only fiery name. And that is above every other name. And that is above every other name. Yes, yes, yes. It's Yahuwah, the only mighty name. And that is above every other name. Princess, love Yahuwah. It's okay. So much love Yahuwah. This temple is eternal bond with Yahuwah. The only everlasting name. And that is above Every other names, every other names, uh, every other names. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's Yahuwah, the only saving name, and that is above every other names. Not Pog Jesus, neither Snake Allah. Boy, it's Yahuwah, the only everlasting name that is above every other name. Yes, every other name, mm -hmm. every other name forever. Eternal, yes, from everlasting to everlasting. He is the only living thing that is above every other name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Orobosi kayabai. Orobosi kayaba. Orobosi kayaba. Yes. Orobosi kayaba. I love you so much. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom. Much love and much prosperity attend your family for you are the only reason of our time like truth because the time is simply near just as we see the days goes by so draw nigh the coming of Yahushua HaMashiach just as the Malak of Yehoah saith unto Yehokana the revelator seal not the prophecies of this book for the time is simply near Exactly what we are doing here, family, decoding end times, prophecy, science, dreams in, preparing people like you, body like you, house like you, for the blessed returning of King Yahushua HaMashiach, our eternal bridegroom, to whom do eternally our worship, praise, honor, riches, power, glory, wealth, to the glory of his magnificent Abba, Yahuwah, the Almighty, eternal, like I said before, not poor Jesus. Neither snake Allah is Yahuwah, the only fiery name that is above every other name. Are you, look, are you in need of salvation? Lay hold on this name. Are you in need of salvation? Are you in search of freedom? Lay hold on Yahuwah. He is the only saving name that is above every other name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba. To you, eternal, be all glory. And to the Ruach HaKodesh, eternal. To the Ruach HaKodesh forevermore. To the Ruach HaKodesh, Orobosi Kayaba. To the Ruach HaKodesh forevermore. All glory, worship, honor goes to the Ruach HaKodesh. Eternally, all praises goes to the Ruach HaKodesh. My eternal husband, to the Ruach HaKodesh. 
my forever teacher. To the Ruach HaKodesh, the very OCG. To the Ruach HaKodesh, yes, the DNA of Abba Yahuwah. Oh, glory goes to the Ruach HaKodesh. To the Ruach HaKodesh. To the Ruach HaKodesh. Ruach HaKodesh. Ruach HaKodesh. Ruach HaKodesh. Sekei Yabo. Ruach HaKodesh. Sekei Yabo Sei. Ruach HaKodesh. Sekei Dri Labayo. Ruach HaKodesh. Sekei Yabo Sei. Dri Labasei. Imo Santa Labu. Yes. Imo Yanta Labe. Wo wo robo si ka ya be Wo wo robo si ka ya be Wo wo robo si ka ya be Yahuwa robo si ka ya be Hallelujah I lay it all at your feet Yahuwa I love him so much Hallelujah Yes Abba Yahuwa You have been worshipped praised loved or not served always ever eternal right in the temple of your eternal home may be a very issue for you are oh, my abba also my eternal husband hallelujah i just love you abba thank you for such a wonderful Shabbat has today that we, your elect, the apples of your eyes, people so dear to your heart, the people after your heart, the chosen nation, the peculiar people from the royal eternal priesthood, circled around you now, worshipping at your feet. We are doing our service right at your feet. That brought us this eternal good news. Salvation, Yahushua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Thank you for giving us your word. King Yahushua HaMashiach. Thank you for giving us your eternal set up of spirit. The Ruach HaKodesh. I just love you Abba. For you have already provided all that we need in this journey for us. We need your word. Our sword. And we need your spirit. Our cleanser. Our teacher to reveal your sword unto us. To teach us the way. I love you so much. Walk by Guawe. Walk by Guawe. Yes. Walk by Guawe. Walk by Guawe, Baba. Walk by Gale Guawe. Walk by Guawe. Walk by Guawe. Oh, Rubasi Kayabi. Indeed. You know the way. I love you so much. You alone, Abba Yahweh, knows how to fix the broken world. Walk by Gwawe. Walk by Gwawe. Walk by Gwawe, Baba. Yes. Walk by Gwawe. I say, I say, I love you so much. Walk by Gwawe. You alone know how to do it. You alone know how to fix it. You know the way. Hallelujah. And you took Joseph in, in your hands. You showed him the way to that greatness, to that upliftment, to that wonders. Hallelujah. To that miracle may seek after by everything in them. But you know the way. Seek it for the, your kingdom and your righteousness. That is the way. I love you so much. Thank you, Abba, for your first do. All right, now, family, we want to do it again. Yes. We want to do it again. I want to be someone today. I want to slap someone right now. I want to beat someone today. Yes. I want to slap someone right now. With that truth. With that truth. With that truth of Abaya. Of Abaya. Of Abaya. I want to slap a witch in my family with this truth of Abba Yahuwah. 
with the eternal truth of Abayi. Well, you shall know the truth, and only the truth shall set you free. For one to be set free from the bondage or the bands of wickedness, okay, wickedness of which is a wizard in your house, it is to, to hold a sword, which is the word of Abayi Yahuwah. Walk my gwawe, yes. Walk my gwawe, hallelujah. Walk my gwawe, walk my gwawe. I love you so much. I say him alone know how to do it. Yes, I want to slap Justin and Abaybe. Like I said, this guy is a snake. Eh? She thought she would be able to bite this time. She can't and she won't. Because the word of Father Yahuwah is a double-edged sword. It's already been released on her head. She blocked me. And that's what she's doing. And before you knew it, she was so open to see what she's still doing. Is she still talking about me? Is this woman still after me? I wouldn't have been talking about you. But you make it a deal. You, you set this block that I'm, I'm building on. If you don't return, I don't have your time. Because I have so many messages to talk about. So many revelations, you know, to dig into, to be, you know, to be told, to be reviewed, to be unfolded unto the elite, the few that follow this wonderful platform that is not here to mo for monet monetization, that is not here to, mo to mon monetize our God or the word of our God. Okay, but only for the truth, to feed the sheep, the lost sheep of Israel, and also to feed the goats in our midst, the Judas must definitely take their judgment like first corinthians or second corinthians or first corinthians chapter 2 verses 16 make it so clear that he that is spiritual judge all things and he himself is not judged by no one i am spiritual that is why before it happens somebody once said he will never allow any of this to take me by surprise he will refuse what you came to do i know already but you are being arrested rather this is of your destruction so i want to beat her again she also reopened i wanted to go there i said okay to take some message like i said that i will be ready some part of the conversation but i don't find that necessary anymore because we have so much to talk about and this mes message is so vast it's so wide and i don't want to spread to part two okay so i also see she opened i said uh-huh she's here girl she want to come and spy. Is she a spy on my platform? Is she, is she stay after me? But like you said, this like you see already in my platform, I only upload message last week Shabbat because I was so, so, so busy. So, so busy. I couldn't even post not one video. Okay? Up other than the one I did on a Shabbat. So, she reopened again. Maybe she also want to listen today to see... Um, uh, uh, what is she see? What is she talking about? Is she, is she stay after me? Yes, I still have one more to do, if no more than one. After this one, I'm gonna talk about the altar of Bay you build and the altar of Yowa I built. How do we set this stone? I build the twelve stones altar. And how many is yours? So that is, f f to my best knowledge, that is could be my final. If I pay your one say yes, then I'm done. If you bring another one, I will do it again. So right now, Formula, I want to touch on this particular part again. Let's give it a title, or rather, let's call out the title Abe Yawa gave. Because he is my event planner. He is the one that is planning all events surrounds me, or wherever, wherever that um, I'm engaging myself, or, or whatever I want to undergo. Abe Yawa is the one planning it for me. Rather, it's my producer. <coughs> And, I'm, and my director. All right, now here we are in the heavenly court room of Abba Yehovah with this powerful message titled for you and me on rest and chase of a witch in my family over my little big break, uh, breakthrough. Pharaoh chased Yisrael for a step of freedom. Can I read brokers? On rest, she's so arresting her. She's like a rolling lion. But you are may resist by the neck pierced hand of King Yahushua Hamishiach in Yahweh's mighty name. Unrest and chase of a witch in my family over my little breakthrough. As soon as she heard of this wonderful, you know, 
how am I going to press this house? If I is heaven on earth, that is what people in my area told me. In fact, my sister says, sister, that house is too far for that area. This house should have just been built in J area. I say, look at wherever. In fact, I'm going to a village, you know, <laughs> to my papa village, you know. People said this is heaven on earth. In fact, the guy said, if God looks from heaven upon this community, he said the only house he's going to see is this house. If God wants to visit this earth. Let's as if God say he want to vis visit this earth. And he would if he would, he would choose Bini. And he would choose uh the, my area. He said the house is gonna choose afterwards. It's gonna be this house. He said, oh, this house <laughs> looks like everyone else. I'm gonna stay here. This is the testimony that surround that house. I'm not even saying it the way people are saying it. You know, you that cook food, you don't really know how wonderful that soup is, how delicious it is, until someone else that know you know that way that, that was it there you serve that food oh that one is going to share the testimony of the food that's that's what's around this house you see this house all the three communities yeah you see three types are put outside you see where that is filled with ties i did it because three types is there three types excuse me yes running water is there okay every blessed day they always come to fresh water there so that the white paint will not stay. So that's why I put it there for them. I did it for them. You see all these four pillars. Whenever you can see that you don't need to stand. Just sit and take it. I, I carry them along. That's how we. Nyokma guawe. Nyokma guawe. He may not know how to do that. Anyways. So the title. Let's begin to write on the title. Like I said. She's so arrest. She's the cheesy. Over my little testimony. Just like Pharaoh chased after Yazra, over a step of you know, freedom, they acquire, you run after them. So we want to do it now through the mindset of the royal law. Now, first of all, going to Second uh, Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. I think I'm going to be using NIV. I think so. Is it much break down? Did it break it much down than the King James that would be saying, Thou ye? Okay, let's check. Let's go through NIV. And I will see the one that is fit more. And I don't want to do part two because we have so many scriptures over this subject. It's so vast. Too many revelations. I think I'm going to be doing more talking. Because I want to be done. So that uh, next week, Shabbat, because this week again uh, is another busy week. So busy. So I'm going to be doing... Next week, Shabbat, the altar of Baal she built. How did she build that altar? What did she put together? What was her smith? What was her uh, concrete? What was her um, rod? And all these things, what was her wood? So we'll put it together, tie it together. Now, Second Timothy chapter um, uh, 3, verse 16. All scripture is Yehovah's breath. And it and is useful for teaching, rebuking, Correcting, training in righteousness. Like I said, Justina, you know, I, I once gave you this scripture. I read it to your hearing. I'm using it to rebuke you. And again, for my audience, I'm going to use it to teach. And it said, all scriptures is the breath of Abba Yahuwah. So we can't neglect some. So witchcraft... If you constant, if if you follow me, if you follow me constantly, you know I'm not into all this talking of. This is Christian message, though. This is their topic, which is a wizard die, enemy die, which is I'm not into that. If you follow, if you really follow, uh, this platform closely, we say I'm into teaching, exposing the Baal teaching, exposing the Jezebel, exposing the Jezebel. Especially, especially the satanic doctrine, especially the mystery Babylon, which is the Christed door, exposing the Poco Jesus, exposing the fake rest day Jesus gave unto his son, the day to worship on Sunday. You know, I'm into those ones. Exposing Islam and Quran and Allah and their Ramadan. You know, that is what I'm into. Okay? Exposing all those things. I'm not really into witchcraft to witchcraft. Okay? But it's biblical. Okay? All scriptures is, is the breath of Abba Yahuwah. Now that she returned, so it's a block for me to build again. To go back to the witchcraft teaching. To teach about demonology, how they operate in your family. So can we start doing that? 
I mean, I'm speaking, speaking to the elite, the sheep, not the goats, not the pig, not the elite, there, but to the sheep, not the dog, neither pig, neither goat believers. No, I'm not talking to any of you. I speak to the elite, the lost sheep of Israel. Because the goat, they're going to rationalize things. They're not going to be serious with the word of Abba Yehovah. The, these are the characters of the goat, the pig, and the dog. So I'm not here for you. I'm sorry about what I quoted. Is first, uh, yeah, first Corinthians chapter two, not sixteen, is verses fifteen. It said the spirit man, or the spiritual man, excuse me, the spiritual man makes judgments about all things, but he himself is not is not subject to any man's judgment. Because if you are spiritual, you're going to be digging into spirituality. You're going to be judging spiritual matters through the eyes of the royal law, through the mindset of the biblical Messiah. You're not going to be doing Abada Bidi. You're not going to be messing it up. You're, going to, you're not going to be turning the Bible upside down. Okay? If you do, it's going to be a very danger on you. So want to judge spiritual matter over here. Because witchcraft is a spiritual matter, though it's, it's, it's also displaying or being displayed physical is also manifesting in their agent the one that carry that unclean spirit they also display it physically they are this is in their this is in their character is in their heart is in their eyes is in their ways when this bastard did wickedness about three years ago four years ago she thought that would be the end of the life when she ridiculed my children when she called my children to mock them. She thought that was the end of all. But she never know reverse is going to be the case. She never know super duper one is going to be the, 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 the case. She thought she's on top. When I, therefore, when I let her know, you are a liar. You are, you are on the fact. The law, the bendings, you are under her feet. You are just under her feet. Fear for she now reverse. She now begin to display her wickedness in my inbox. So now I want to teach about demonology, how they operate within you, in your household. There are enemies in the house, there are also enemies on the street. In fact, the one inside the house is the most wicked. Now let's take it again, or rather we are going for another scripture, is the breath of eternal, like we just read in the book of first, uh, Second Timothy chapter 3, verse uh, 16 or so. Yes, I'm right. Now I want to see our scriptures. Now, Matthew chapter 10, verses 36. Can we do the reading? A man's enemies will be the members of his own household. He said your very enemy is the member of your household. This is inside your home. Why are you? It's inside your house, not on the street. The street one is to help them, to support them, to carry that wickedness. But the one you should have been watching for is the very one inside your house. A witch in the family. A witch if my in my family is so she's so unrest. She's still chasing over the little breakthrough she had that I acquired. She's still chasing. What is she chasing for? What is she she is she chasing for? What is I returning for? What what is she returning for? Like I said, I don't want to do part two. Let's take this simple illustration or rather the clear picture. From our Messiah, I'm not, I'm not better than my Messiah. If he has enemy, definitely I have. If his enemy was within his household, lack was mine. Now listen, Luke chapter 2, verses 3. Am I going to be reading? I don't think so. Satan entered Judas, the enemy in the house. And 47 through 48, he kissed Yahushua with a kiss of betrayal. Okay? That is the enemy. Even though Yahushua don't, you know, have done him so well, but it's still betrayed, still bite. That is the work, the handwork of the enemy. Matthew chapter 26, verse 24. What happened? Yahushua said it would have been better for you that you will never be born. A born. Another, you know, it said it, it would have been better for you that you were, you were never born. Okay? It would have been better than to betray the Son of Man. He said the Son of Man is going to go, just as the scripture says. He said, but woe unto you that betray the Son of Man into the hands of sinner. Listen now. Betrayer and denier is two different cases. Betrayer is the worst. Anyone that is betrayed people, they are the same as same Anyone can deny you for, for some reasons. Fine. That is that one is being possessed by a unclean spirit. Okay? By the enemy. 
they're just possessing. He, is, he himself, he or she, is no enemy. It's only being possessed, being used. But betrayer is the real enemy. Did you get that? Betrayer is the real enemy. Peter also denied Yahushua. That also goes, goes there. Luke chapter 22 from verses 31 through 32. Yahushua said, you see, uh, Luke 20, uh, 22 verses 3. He said, Seta enter Judah. Now, Judas, and Judah who was Judas? Original apostles in the house. Okay, choose him. Now, that same Luke 22 Verses 30, uh, 31 through 33 or uh, 32. Where is it now? Yes, 32. Now, what did Yahushua also say to Peter? He said, Peter, be careful. Look at Satan has Satan desired to, uh, you know, to destroy you. To stiff, uh, uh, okay, let me, let me be sure. Let me just read it. No need to be talking. Now, let's do the reading. In order for me not to be quoted wrong. Luke 22, verses 3. Then, set, uh, then entered, uh, then entered Seta into Judas, so name is Kairot, beginning, uh, being of the number of the twelve. The enemies of a man is the number members of his house, so being the number, the same. Now, let's rush that to 47. Where is it? 47, 48. And while he yet spake, behold a multitude, and he, and he that was called Judas, one of the twelve, went before them, and drew nigh unto Yahushua to kiss him. But Yahushua said unto him, Judas, uh, uh, betray thou the son of man with a kiss. Okay, that is for Judas. Okay, let us also go. That he betrayed him. Is the member. Uh... Of the apostles. Now we are here. Matthew 26, 24. The son of man goeth as it is written of him. But woe unto that man by whom the son of man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. So what happened to, 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 to Judas? He burst on the street. We were sorry that. This is the betrayer. This is the judgment of a betrayer. Of which this girl are uh, Justina. So, betrayer is in your family, denier is in your family. Denier must be forgiven and must be taken back. But betrayer must not in any way be forgiven nor be taken back. Betrayer is the enemy in your house. Betrayer is the one that wants to see you go down until you enter the grave. Betrayer will never, ever, ever... Any step of breakthrough you acquire will never let you go. They will run after you. They will still try by all means to bring you down, to send you down to your earlier grave. That is betrayer. But enemy, denier, which is the enemy also in your house, will deny you a little while. Deny you. Before you know, they say, oh. anyway, God that is doing it, I will let that God also do mine for me. That is a denier. That is someone that can't deny. But betrayer, mm -mm. Until betrayer killed you. Until betrayer say you enter the grave. They will not let you be. So that is the difference. That is why betrayer must not be forgiven. Now, okay, that's St. Luke 22. Let's quickly rush down. Verses 31. This is enemy. These are two people. I don't know if I'm going to title this part one. I don't really know. Now, 31. Luke 22, verses 31 through 32. And the Adonai said, said Simeon, Simeon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you. You see, in the case of the betrayer, Luke 22, verses 3, Satan never desired to have him. One time he just grabbed him, he entered here and said, come on now, you're going to carry out some certain mission for me. And I need you to do the job for me. This guy must die. But little did they know everything that we are putting it together. For our good, for our eternal salvation. Okay, you see? But in the case of the enemy, not a betrayer, in the two enemies in the family. One is, is called betrayer, and the other one is called denier. And the betrayer, devil don't desire to have him. It is the devil's property. Devil just use that one anyhow as he will at all times. But the denier also enemy in the house, devil is going to desire 
to say, how am I going to enter this person? I want to possess this person. I want, to, I want this person to carry a job for me. Why? Because that one, denial is not the property of the devil. The devil wants to possess him. But for a betrayer, he is the pro property of the devil. Now I take it again. 31. And Yehoshua, or rather, and the Adonai said, Simeon, Simeon, behold, Satan had desired to have you. I think this is part one. I'm going to do it very, very, very professional here. Now, Luke 22, verses 3. Listen up. Then Satan, then, okay, then entered Satan into Judas. Did you see where, where he desired? A desire is something that you want to have. Then you have to play some part to have. You have to play some role. You have to work somehow, somehow hard to have that what you desire. But what you just entered anyhow is not what you desire anymore. That is your own property. That is your own property. That is what you have. That is what is already in your possession. That is what is already working in line with you. You don't desire it because you own it. What you own, you don't desire anymore. But what you don't own, you desire to own, to have, to possess, to use. Because you don't own that thing. But a thing that you own, it is your practice. You don't desire such anymore. He never owned Peter, but he owned Judas. He entered Judah anyhow to carry out a mission. Eh, but for Peter, in the case of Peter, he was calculating. How am I going to do this? Let's return back. Let's return back. Luke 32, verses 31. And the Adonai said unto and the Adonai said, Simeon, Simeon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sit you as wind. He want to shake, that is, he want to, uh, what, uh, what, he want to fitter you. He want to shatter you. He want to tear you into pieces. He want to eat you raw. He is so angry at you that you are choosing the right part of life. He is so angry at you. He want to destroy. He want to. He want, he want to sift you. He want to put you on a a fitter. He just you know shake you and shatter you. But in the case of Judah, it was a soul thirty-two. But I have pr prayed for thee that thy faith fail not, and when thou hast converted. Strengthen thy brethren. Did you see the two pictures? As you keep reading to from 53 through 61, you're going to see where Peter indeed denied Yahushua HaMashiach, the author of life. Okay? Denier is not a betrayer. Okay? So, these are the two categories of which in your family. A which... Let me also put it in a very clear picture. Two witches are in your family. One spirit is going to be possessed by devil. One flesh is going to be possessed by devil. So the one whose spirit is possessed by devil are devil's property. Are betrayers. That one must not be forgiven. And the one whose skin or flesh is being possessed by devil must be forgiven. Those are the deniers. Those is going to deny you in the face of affliction. Like my family did unto me. That is why I said I've forgiven them. All of them. All five are forgiven. But you see this snake. Not in this world. Neither in the world to come. That is John chapter 20, 20 from verses 20 to 22 also. He said, whosoever sin you forgiven, that person's sins will be forgiven. Let me read it. This is part one like I said. That is why it's very good to read. We shouldn't be lazy. <laughs> because sometimes you can be quoted wrong. You can't verify if you just quote and go. Now listen. John chapter 20. So we're taking it from 22. And with, the, uh, and with, he, and with that, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. 23. If you forgive anyone, he is sin. They are forgiven. If, if you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Now, this is the use of the ministry. 
this girl blasphemed. So I have I will never forgive him. Because that is the judgment of blasphemer. Matthew 12, verses 20, uh, 32 to 33. He said, No forgiveness for you in this one, neither in the world to come. And that is also my judgment. He that is spiritual, like 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 15 says, He that is spiritual judge all things, and he is, he is not judged by no one. Because you are spiritual. So these are spiritual things. Wishes are wizard in the family. They are in every family. Witches, wizard. They are in family. Judas, Peter, they are in every family. Including Pharaoh. They are in every family. Including Joseph. They are in the every single family. Now, I think we're going to end with the topic of Joseph. Because these are enemies in the house. So now, um, okay. So now that I've received the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, is, is the use of ministry. Anyone who offended me, that is, when I speak the word of Abbe Yehuwa, if you ever speak against me, if you offended me, and you hurt me to my marrow, and you distress the Holy Spirit in me, I will hold it against you. And he said when I hold it, because this is the use of ministry. After I've received the Holy Spirit, you want to come and distress the Holy Spirit in me? You want to come and grieve the Holy Spirit in me? If I hold it against you, heaven say it is so. But if I also forget, so okay, it doesn't matter, we are all one. Therefore, heaven said they will also pardon you. So like this one, in conjunction with what my husband said, Yahushua HaMashiach, I, will, I won't forgive you. I hold it against you. All that you did to me. You mock me here, you also ridicule my children in your house. I won't forgive you. You betrayed me. I won't forgive you. You are Judas. I won't forgive you. Let's see how Judas died on the street. Peter was saved. Judas scattered on the street. Matthew 27, verses 3 through 5. There, Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the uh, 30 pieces of silver to the chief priest and elders. For saying, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, what is that to us? See, thou to that is your problem. Five. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple and departed and went and hanged himself. This is the judgment of betrayer. They are suicidal. They always go on a suicide mission. This, this, this is your way. And this is how you, you will go. So let's see Peter. Enemy in your house are two different categories. Judas and Peter. Witchcraft in your house are two different categories. The one possessed by a witchcraft spirit, uh, the one whose spirit is possessed by a witchcraft spirit, and the one whose a witchcraft spirit is possessed flesh, or the one whose flesh is possessed by a witchcraft spirit. The one in the flesh can repent quickly, urgently. They don't delay. But you see, the one, their spirit is possessed with witchcraft, they are the one determined on to see you go to the grave. But they are it so. Until Saul died, remember, a whole mighty king ordained king over Israel. Now begin to sleep the cave. His home, his throne was in the wilderness cave. But until Pharaoh, until Saul go down, David never ascend no throne. David never rule as a king. That is the betrayer in your house. Prior to my little source, this girl heard, I built a very wonderful standout, outstanding, outstanding, how superb it was a dupe one. As soon as she heard, she revoked and she now begin to curse. But your curse is easy, your womb be seven ways in Yahuwah's mighty name. Exodus chapter 12, verses 3. Whosoever that blesses me, Yahuwah bless, direct. And whosoever that causes me, Yahweh cause direct. That is not my job to do. 
He is the one to curse you back. In his mighty name. Genesis, let's take this lesson. Pure picture how this enemy operates. They are witches are wizards. Genesis 37 verses 3. Now Yisrael loved Yosef more than all his children because he was the son of his old age and he made him a coat of many colors. So this is what the enemy was after. Coat of many colors. Put that garment on him. Coat of many colors. Rainbow blessings. All kinds of blessings. All around blessings. Was in the, uh, it was the garment of Joseph. She is going to wear it. As a garment. Meanwhile, they are all blessings. Now, 23. See what they took from him. That's same Genesis 37 verses 23. And it came to pass, when Joseph was come into unto his brethren, that they stripped Joseph out of his coat. His coat of many colors that was on him. Did you see? This was what they needed. And who needed this was the devil, the witch himself, the wicked spirit himself, but he possessed the body of his brethren. He did they possess their spirit. He possessed their body. And did not deny their brother through jealousy and handle him to be tormented by demons. Okay, now these are Peter's that must be forgiven. Why? Because they repented. They never proceed in wickedness, in wickedness. But the betrayer, <laughs> until Joseph entered the grief, until they see, because you know they put him in the, in the, just let me tell you, be very careful of me, I'm very dangerous. You see, I carry the mantle of Joseph. You have never, you, are, you haven't seen nothing. And you cannot quench me. You see, over these years, he is Domia Ladia. Oh, one, it can be more, he's still recognized by all three communities because that is who I am. It has been on top of a hill, must be seen by all. By station in Welu, the Northern House, they gave it a name, White House. In Nego, in the other side, they gave it a name, White House, because that is who I am. Be very careful of me. I am a glory carrier. You know that by now. Afterwards, that all you have done, three deportations. I see Stan Gidigba come out alive with powerful testimony. Five canopies, two music sets, one native musician, and one DJ. Eh? It went on dinner. We are going do. This is who I am. The more you keep biting, the more I keep, uh, you know, springing up powerfully with another glory. Now see, Genesis 39, verses 12. And she caught him by his garment, saying, Lie with me. And he left his garment in her hand and fled and got him out. Now what happened? The first garment came. The family took it. Enemy in the house. That same enemy in the house also went on the streets. To use the enemy of the street to also attack him again, the second garment. The enemy in the house took the first garment, but Joseph never logged it. Now he also got on the street. Another garment came. Who will be? What will, will be? Will ever be? Come on now. I'm letting you know be very, very much careful of me. If not, you will die like Judas. And you're going to die like Judas. Now, where Joseph also on the street again? Where he is also doing his, you know, on his hustle ground. The enemy of the street, the enemy in the street, also lay hold on the second garment Potiphar gave unto him. His papa gave him coat of many colors. The enemy in the house robbed that. And on the street now, again, still in search of his greener pasture. Now, in the ground of his hustles, Enemy on the street, lay hold they go on the second garment. But the third one came by fire. That's what Abba Yewa assures me. He said, this second one, this time you, th you thought you, you are coming to buy? He said, it's a lie. It is your judgment. Because this third one came by fire. This very one came by fire. It's unstoppable. You can't bite anymore. He came by fire. This movement, it is by the fire of heaven.
you can't stop it. Which is in the house can't stop it. The one you also handled it to on the street, the one you are calling left and right to join you to fight. Can't stop this. Come on now. Pharaoh is teaching. This is part one. All my listeners, if you have the book of Yashir, you can read you can read chapter 49. Go, go and see the, how the garment of many, many colors returned back. It came by fire. But we can see an inch of it in uh, Genesis 41. Read it. That one just brief it. But we are the glory, the beauty of the glory, the powerful testimony truly lies. It is in the book of Yashir, chapter 49. If you have it, read it. Read the book of Yashir and see what God, we are not like a sand for, for Joseph. The seat, his throne, where he sit, was diamond. Every eating vessels were gold. It came by fire. This one, a place where he worshipped was built with gold. Because this one came by fire overnight. Eh? Now, 40, Genesis 41, verses 40. Thou shalt be over my house. Or should I take from 39? And yeah, 39. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God, or rather Yehovah, had shown thee all this, there is none uh, so discreet and wise as thou. 40. And thou shalt be over my house, and according to according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou, 41. And Pharaoh said unto uh, Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt, 42. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph, uh, Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestures. That is the garment that came by fire. Another garment. Of finally, the Revelation 19, verses 1 through 9, finally, and put a gold of ch a golden chain about his neck, and made him to ride in the second chariot which he had, which he had, and they cried before him, blow about the knee, and made him rule over all the land of Egypt. Quickly, oh, I'm running out of time. Genesis forty one fifty five through fifty seven, but I'm ready fifty six. The garment of many color, what it means. And the famine was over all the face of the earth. And Joseph opened all the storehouses and sold unto the Egyptians. And the famine was sore in the land of Egypt. And all countries came into Egypt to Joseph for to buy corn. Because that the famine was so sore in the land. Do you see the garment of many colors? Do you see what the enemy wanted to take off? He saved the entire earth. <clears throat> Excuse me, the entire world. By his wisdom. And this is the garment of many colors. You can't quench this one, Justina. This one came by fire. So, by, uh, I bet your words great. Next week, Shabbat, because I will be so busy. I will do the part soon. Before we now proceed to the altar of B. 